Hey everybody, this is Brandon again with a Chrome OS Flex video for you. What we're going to be looking at today is how to connect to a, another computer on your network or remotely um, over a remote desktop. Now there is a Chrome remote desktop application. That's not what we're looking at here today. If you want to see how to set that up, uh, you can let me know in the comments. But we are going to be connecting to like a Windows computer using the Remina client. I think that's how you say it. This is available on most Linux distributions and to get it working on here we are going to have to have the Linux development environment installed. I have a video on my channel going over that. Just know that on this current build of Chrome OS Flex that's out there a lot of people are having troubles getting the Linux environment to work. If you're in that category one thing you might want to check out is um, make sure in your BIOS you have CPU virtualization enabled. If it doesn't work still you might be out of luck at this time but if you do have it running the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your terminal and we're going to type sudo apt install remina and we also want um, remina plugin rdp for remote desktop protocol i think and we're going to go ahead and install that and yeah, like I said, I have other videos on the channel here about getting Linux up and running on this thing and about installing all sorts of software under the Linux environment. So go ahead and check those out if you're interested in using Linux on your Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex device. Most of these steps should work on both. All right, <clears throat> here we are at the 99%. Of course, as we all know, when you're installing anything, the last 99%, the last 1% takes forever. So we're going to go open up our launcher here and go to Linux apps, and there is the program we installed. So let's get that fired up. And what we're going to do, oh, here we have what's new. That's nice. Let's create a new connection. And you put in the information for your server. I'll just type mine in. It's a local computer on my network here. Username. And let's save that and connect. See how it works. Okay, so here we are, remoted into my Windows 10 machine here. I got my resolution set for really small. You can change that in the settings. I don't know if I could change it here once connected. Yeah, you can. All right. So here, if you're on Chrome OS and you need to do work on a Windows machine, pretty easy to do. I mean this only took us a couple minutes to set up and now we have Windows. Uh, we're logged into my Windows box remotely. And there's other plugins for Remina that you can install. There's a VLC or I mean VNC which will let you connect to a Mac computer using their native screen sharing capabilities. And I think most Linux distributions you can connect to using VNC. And so this is really easy to set up. It's uh, really nice and if you want to mostly use Chrome OS but you still have a few things you need to do on a Windows box that's connected to your network or if you need to connect to a Windows share at your workplace this is the way to do it on Chrome OS Flex. Now there's also another application called Chrome Remote Desktop that I think you have to set up through Chrome on um, both the remote machine and the local machine. If you guys want to see that we can go over that in another video but for most cases uh, you should be able to do this. I should note if you never use remote desktop before then on your Windows computer you're gonna need to enable allowing remote computers to connect and let's see if I remember just off the top of my head where to do that I'm gonna go to settings and search for remote there we go remote desktop settings you have to make sure it's turned on on your Windows box if you're gonna want to do this so anyway that's how you do uh, some remoting on Chrome OS and these steps all work on Linux too by the way so if you like the video thumbs up that thing and subscribe to my awesome channel and if you have any other things you want me to test out on Chrome OS or any other operating system just let me know and I'll go ahead and see what I can do but until next time I want to thank you for watching I hope you all have a great day and try to stay out of trouble why don't you bye now